Hello you lovely lot and they <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe. So today I'm going to share with you a whole bunch of products that I cannot live without right now. I've been reaching for them non-stop. So I'm going to prime my eyelids and we're going to run to the next clip. As you can see, I've prepped one eye because I'm going to be doing one eye on camera and then I'll do the other eye off camera. It just makes things a whole lot easier. Okay, so the palette I'm going to share with you is by Sigma. This is the Sigma Warm Neutral Palette. So many gorgeous colours in this palette and I've been using it non-stop. The actual colour payoff from these eyeshadows is insane. They're so creamy, they're so pigmented. Like, oh. I'm going to take the shade Rogue to start off with. You ready to see how pigmented these eyeshadows are? So I'm going to be applying this to the outer corner. Look at that. No, that's actually insane. Love it. I've been using these eyeshadows so much since I got this palette. That I was like, I have to share this with people because I'm not gonna lie, it's not that often that I get really excited over a neutral sort of palette. Like they just don't really, you know, get me that hyped anymore. But this one definitely did. We're just creating that shape. I'm just gonna grab a clean blending brush. And we're just gonna soften the edges of this. Yeah, so in this video, I'm also gonna be whitening my teeth. I don't know if you guys remember when I did my at home glow up sort of video. I whitened my teeth in that video and I used this brand called Spotlight Oral Care. That's now been blended out. I'm going to go in and keep building up that colour. When I do my Instagram Q&As, I always get a lot of questions on how I'm keeping my teeth so bright, especially obviously during like lockdown and stuff. And it is because I have been using these whitening strips here. These are the Whitening Reduced Staining Sensitive Teeth Oral Spotlight Strips. And they're vegan friendly, cruelty free and created by dentists. So this brand was actually created in 2016 by two dentists and um, I worked with these guys a little while back actually. That's how I got introduced to the products. I ended up loving them myself that I ended up obviously, you know, purchasing more products and just being a regular customer of theirs. Next colour I'm taking is Passion Fruit. Then I'm using Passion Fruit just to go around and blend that all out. They actually were so kind enough as well to send me along some of their mouthwash for teeth whitening. And I've never tried this before. And this really smells like the proper stuff you get at the dentist. And then they sent me over one of their Spotlight Sonic toothbrushes. I actually have one of these already and I love it. This is probably the best battery life I think I've had on a toothbrush. You get three different cleaning modes with this toothbrush. You also get three heads with it as well straight away. Okay, so I'm going to continue my eyes with the whitening strips in my mouth. And then that way I have to do like a little voiceover on this bit here. So this is the cute little bag that the whitening strips come Coming. As I mentioned, I've been using these since they first ever worked with me and then since then I've just been buying them myself. You also get this toothpaste with it as well, which I think is really nice because in the past when I've ordered, you know, whitening strips to try at home, they just come in like a little tiny cardboard box and like this and that's it. But the fact that you get this little bag to keep it all together, you get toothpaste and this is what it looks like. And make sure your teeth are dry before you go ahead and put this on. So I'm going to make sure my teeth are dry two seconds. This is what it looks like. So there you go, there's your before. All you do. Is you just pop it on, fold it under, then I just go in between the teeth to make sure it's in there. Now you do this every day for an hour for two weeks and then you'll get a full result at the end. But the best way to keep track as well is take photographs. So I'm going to put on the screen how much these cost and then how much they will get with my discount. It's not an affiliate code, it's literally just they've sent me these working together again which is amazing because I love these strips. All right, so we're gonna let those whitening strips do their job and we're gonna jump back into the eyes. So I'm taking that brown shade and just adding that on the outer corner and then I'm using that first shade just to go on top. So it's gonna deepen it, but it's not gonna change the tones too much. Took a really gorgeous shimmery white shade on the inner corner, then more of a burgundy on the outer corner and this gorgeous mauve. Oh my God, this mauve is stunning. I don't think this video did it justice, but yeah, then I'm gonna clear up the outer corner and just make sure everything looks seamless and just smooth and just blown out and smoky. So I'm happy with how it's looking and then I'm gonna add a wing. I'm using the Steeler liquid liner for this. I'm loving a wing right now, you know, just, just vibing with it. Anyways, I'm going to pop on some lashes and I'm going to peel those strips off and go and brush our teeth. Here you can see the before and after for yourself. That is from one strip, bearing in mind, yeah? So imagine when I use more, they're going to be even better. Okay, so the teeth are done and I feel like my eyes look very big like bug eyes right now, but I just love all the smokiness of it, the colour. When I do a smoky eye, I just love it to be like a blown out smoky eye. But yeah, we need to do the rest of the face because I always feel a little bit weird when I've got 
got my makeup like part done, part not. I don't know, I just feel like that's when I look my worst. I'm either, I feel better without makeup or with the full face. That in between kind of bit, I just don't vibe with. So yes, okay, so for um, the actual foundation, since I did a first impressions on this, this is the new reformulated Folks Filter Foundation by Huda Beauty. I have the shade Latte and I really like this. So I'm using my Smashbox brush right now. I actually love the blurring foundation brush in this, but this one is the cream cheek, which is a little bit smaller. My skin's been a little bit mad recently. It's like, some days it's proper dry, and then the other days I'm like, spotty. But that's why I've been using this foundation, because it doesn't really matter what condition my skin is in. It really helps cover a lot of things. I'm gonna use a cream contour now. This one is by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the contour wand in medium dark. I love this stuff. Can you see how much I am using already? Like, I'm running out of this so much. I'm probably gonna have to order another one. I do feel like I actually run out of this fairly quick though. Like it doesn't matter, they just always tend to run down pretty quick. If you've tried this, does yours run out as quick as well? Maybe it's just me using a lot, I don't really know. But if I squeeze that together, look, you can see it can be squished together now because that's how much I'm using it. I'm just gonna do it on the temples and also onto the cheekbones. Do you know what? I'm gonna do a bit under that chin as well. And I'll do a bit of the lip. Those are the areas that I've added the product to. I'm now gonna go with a little small Joe fiber brush and we're gonna start to flick that up and then I will go in with the concealer. I just love me a Joe fiber brush, you know. They just are incredible. A little bit on their nose. Honestly, today was actually so sunny. Like I was so flipping happy when I woke up and saw sunshine. I was like, yes, I missed you. I know it's just gone. The nose is looking really crazy right now, but we're gonna sort that out with a little bit of concealer so don't you worry honey so if you guys would have seen my hair transformation video you'll know that i removed my tape hair extensions at home and you know what in a way i'm actually so glad i did because now i can do all like my little cute up hairstyles now you kind of forget that sort of stuff when you have your um permanent extensions in oh you know i nearly forgot this bit under here okay so the main concealer that i've been using realistically has been the Too faced born this way multi sculpting one and the reason is because my sleeping pattern as i mentioned like 500 million times is a mess so I need a full coverage concealer that is gonna cover my under eye bags down the side and then bring it out. So I'm gonna start tapping that out and bringing that up the cheekbone. This is such a gorgeous concealer. I think this is my favorite concealer of all time. And that is the coverage, how flippin' nice. Because this foundation was recently introduced into my life, I then went back to using the Huda Beauty loose powder. But what I've been doing is setting it first with the Charlotte Tilbury one. And then I've been going in with the Huda Beauty one, just like a little bit baking, a little bit more definition. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually just gonna use the same brush, just a small amount. I'm just gonna go in there and press that underneath the eye, a little patting motion. It's very rare nowadays that I wear a full beat sort of look. So when I do, I'm like, oh, I cannot wait for the day that I can actually wear these sort of looks out, out, you know? Okay, so once I've kind of set that all in place and I'm happy with how that is looking, this is when I go in with the loose powder. So I'm just gonna take a little bit. I love this powder, it's just got a bit of a weird scent, you know? I'm just gonna go in and blend that in. Oh my God, I forgot to tell you guys. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, and then you wouldn't know this, obviously. So a little while back, I asked you guys, I'll oh, give me like, you know, movie recommendations. And so many of you said The Notebook. And I thought, you know what? I've heard so much about this, but I've never actually watched it. So let me give it a go. I'm traumatized. I am traumatized, okay? I never want to watch that movie ever, ever, ever again. Ever. How flipping sad is that film? I kind of saw a lot of things coming, like, you know, some parts are really, really predictable and that. And I was like, yeah, I could have guessed that's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. But even though I predicted certain things were gonna happen, I didn't expect myself to get upset. But then without it getting too deep into it, yeah, I did start to think like, oh my God, we're all gonna get old and die. And then my whole brains are like spiraling. And then I start thinking, oh my God, I don't want my loved ones to die. I don't want to die. Oh God, I just started like spiraling. You know when you watch a movie and you put it into like your sort of situation, even though nothing like that is happening to you, yeah. But you sit there and you're like, oh my God, that could happen. And you just like start to cry, yeah. The notebook I'm never watching again. I'm now gonna go have a bronzer. An oldie but a goodie is this one here, which is called Bronze Bondi from Becca. And then what I've been doing is I've been mixing a little bit of the bronze one here from the Dior um, Face Glow Backstage Palette. Now I used this shade in my previous video and I'm gonna be honest with you, this is all I've really been using on my cheeks for highlighter recently. And then the other day I used a bit of the bronze to go on with this for my Valentine's look, which I posted on my Instagram. These together, I just, ugh. 
a little bit so nice. So that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna start off with that one. Yeah, one thing I started to realize is I don't think I'm gonna watch sad movies anymore. What am I doing? I'm trying to go this way. Isn't it like baby season right now? So many people are having babies. Honestly, one day I'll be like, oh God, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> and the next day I'll be like, mm, but they're so cute. Maybe one, <laughs> maybe two. <laughs> okay, three. <laughs> I genuinely hate myself because I stopped using that bronzer. Like, what was I thinking? Was I okay? I definitely was not because that bronzer is just stunning. Look how glowy. It just looks proper bronzed. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, I just love it, love it. Then what I've been doing is taking my highlight brush, going in with that bronzy shade, and just kind of going on top of the bronzer a little bit on the cheeks. Then I just go on top. Then I'm gonna take that golden shade, which is like my favorite for highlighter right now. And we're just gonna pop that on the tops of those cheekbones, just like that. Oh, can't get enough. So I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows. With them, the arch just naturally goes pretty high. So what I like to do is I just go in here and just kind of even it out a little bit. Lobot, what the hell is that? Yeah, you get me. Bring it down like that. And then I'll just do a few little flicks at the front, run it through, fill in the end, and then brush it through. <laughs> That's literally it with my eyebrows. I'm using the Benefit 24 hour brow setup. I like to flatten the hair as well a little bit with it. I just feel like they look more 3D. I don't know, I just prefer how that looks on the eyebrow. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that highlighter just on there. Do you know what, I'll mix those two together, the bronze and the gold. Okay, so we're down to the last two products, which is our lip combo now. So this is the Fenty Lip Paint in the shade Uncarved. I'm gonna be mixing Max Shrimpton, because I use this one or Mac Peach Stock quite a lot. This is so liquidy at first. So just make sure that you don't have too much product on this when you first apply it, because like I said, there's a lot that comes out. I'm just gonna run that over the top lip and create the outline and then fill the whole lip in. So at first, it looks quite pink, especially with these eyes, because of course, when you've got similar sort of tones together, they're gonna bring that out even more. But yeah, so it looks quite pink, but I just let it dry down a little bit. It goes on so thin, but there's a lot of product and the pigmentation is just spot on. You can see for yourself like how easy that went on. So I'm just gonna let that dry a little bit. I don't want it to dry fully though because I still need it to blend in with this lipstick and then take any light lipstick you have. If you buy the uncuffed lipstick, then just feel free to use concealer. You don't have to use a lipstick, but I'm gonna go in with MAC Shrimpton. Then we're gonna dab it so it blends in. I've taken my fringe out as well. Now, recently I have been using the Mark Hill Pick and Make Extra Long Barrel. So this is the Curl Fix Handle. I'm not gonna lie, I think I need to get some new ones of these because mine have got stains all over them. My other one's chipping. I've had them for absolute years. As you can imagine, when they first come out, I had them. So uh, yeah, I need to get some new handles. But this is the Extra Long Barrel. Even this I've been using a lot. Can you see that it's got one there? Um, but this is the extra long one and I love this for the front of my fringe to create that sort of loose curl. These were done yesterday and they were a lot tighter, but actually I'm quite liking it, this little loose vibe, so I'm not gonna touch it up. The other week, maybe the other month, I don't know, when I went food shopping, I took some photos beforehand and I'll put a little photo here and my hair was proper like curly, but a nice sort of wavy curl, not too tight. And that was done using the extra long barrel. So if you do have long hair or you like to wear hair extensions, and I really recommend this one. And because my fringe has outgrown now, because I haven't been to the hairdressers in so long. I've been using this on my fringe as well. So just like wrap it around like this. This is a brow that I've been loving and using pretty much non-stop since I dyed my hair dark, I'd say. Um, so if you have quite long hair or medium to long hair, then definitely look into getting this one. And then before I wrap things up, I just want to give a shout out to Spotlight Oral Care. You guys are the best. Absolutely love you. Love your products. Thank you for working with me on this video. If you ever want to do a TV advert, let me know. All right, give me a kill. <laughs> No, but seriously, no, thanks <laughs> for sending um, these out. And thank you for sending me this because I've not tried this one yet. I cannot believe how much I love this flipping lip combo considering it's quite pink. And I'm not like a pink lipstick or pink lip kind of girl. I'm just more like a nude and a brown. Yeah, I absolutely adore this lip color. And every time I wear it, I get so many questions on it. Yeah, so shout out to Fenty because this is um, an absolute winner. And 
I never seem to make my way through it. Like honestly, I've used it so many times and I just get product out every single time. There's so much liquid on the brush. I'm like, how have I not worn this down yet? How am I still getting so much madness? But that's what I like to see when I buy a product, you know, especially if it isn't on the drugstore sort of price or things. If I'm paying some money for it, I want it to last. And this definitely does. All of these products, of course, I'm loving. And that's why they've been shared with you recently because all of them I have been reaching for nonstop. I'll leave all the links and info in the down bar as always. I'll leave my Instagram on the screen if you want to stay connected. I'd love it if you did. And yeah, I'm going to give you guys a close up now so you can see the final result of how the makeup looks we've definitely gone for a full coverage on the face today you know i was just feeling a little bit of a full beat look the bronze look with the pink eye and oh i just love this lip so once again thank you all so much for watching this video it means the world you know i hope i've been able to just distract you for a little while keep you occupied take your mind off of things because i know for a fact that sitting down and recording these videos has genuinely been helping me in this lockdown um it's been helping take my mind off things and keeping me occupied so i hope that this video has been able to do the same for you remember to give it a thumbs up it's literally just a click i'm sending you nothing but love and i'll see you very soon in the next video